outlaw couples, especially those that pull off prison breaks, live in our pop culture, imagination, and social media. We grow obsessed with them, calling them modern day Bonnie and Clyde. But the reality is rarely actually romantic. And with this case, Jennifer and George Hyatt, an innocent man lost his life for their selfish DVDs and forbidden romance. This is the story of Jennifer and George Hyatt, The Big Escape. On this episode of The Big Escape, we dive into a bizarre, crazy, modern day Bonnie and Clyde story between Jennifer and George Hyatt. The story starts in a state prison. Jennifer got a job with a state contractor in 2004 that took her into a prison to provide health care for the state inmates. Only working for the facility for just five months, she was caught sneaking food into the prison for an inmate named George Hyatt. He was serving a 41-year prison sentence for armed robbery and other related felony offenses. And that is what sparked their relationship. After the state found out about their relationship, they quickly transferred George Hyatt to a Nashville prison. But that did not end the relationship. Shortly after arriving at the prison, the couple applied to the, the chaplain at the prison for permission to be married. And it was granted. On May 20th, 2005, Jennifer and George Hyatt was pronounced husband and wife. The date was August 9, 2005. What seemed like a routine prisoner transfer from a courtroom in Tennessee in 2005 suddenly turned into a violent shootout. In the resulting gunfire, Wayne Cotton Morgan. He was an officer with the Department of Corrections. He was soon met with a hell of bullets. He was killed instantly dying for the forbidden love between George and Jennifer Hyatt. The entire incident unfolded at approximately 10 a.m. during a court hearing. Witnesses stated Jennifer Hyatt stormed through the courtroom while George Hyatt was standing there looking at the judge. He yelled out to her, shoot him, shoot him. Yeah, him right there, shoot him. Soon after that, she started firing at the officer, which we all know now as Wayne Morgan. When she noticed the officer was wounded and down for the count, she quickly grabbed the keys and uncuffed George Hyatt. They quickly ran out of the courthouse. Witnesses also claimed that they hopped inside a Ford Explorer, which was later found abandoned. And then after that, they believed that they stole a gold Chevrolet Venture which they later located on August 10th. It was found in a parking lot of an eco lounge lodge in Kentucky, but neither Hyatt was found. The same night, the Hyatts were charged with first degree murder. That same evening on August 10th, around 10 p.m., the Hyatts was finally captured at America's Best Inn, located in Columbus, Ohio. The couple was captured after a cab driver drove them from the Earl Langer, Kentucky, to the hotel. The Hyatts reportedly said that they were attending an Amway convention. The cab driver noticed their face from being all over the papers and the news, so he quickly called the authorities. There, the authorities swiftly and fastly moved in, and the couple was finally taken into custody, hit with a multitude of charges. But the story don't end there. The saga continues as they head to court, fighting for their freedom. Jennifer Hyde sits in jail now at this time, depending, thinking that she's going to get the death penalty. In fact, the death penalty was definitely on the table. On September 17, 2007, Jennifer Hyde pleaded guilty to first-degree murder 
and was sentenced to a life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. According to the Tennessee Department of Corrections, her imprisonment began on August 10th, 2005. She is currently incarcerated at the Tennessee Prison for Women in Nashville. And as for George Hyde, he snaked out his wife for a lighter sentence. He struck a deal with the state. He actually saved his wife's life. But as for him though, on March 9, 2009, he pleaded guilty to all charges, including the first degree murder of Wayne Cotton and the escape. George Hyatt was sentenced to life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. As for the modern day Bonnie and Clyde couple, both sit in prison today for the rest of their life. Took an innocent bystander all over their forbidding love. My thoughts on this whole thing is all of this could have been prevented if she would have just went to work originally, did her job, served the inmates as a nurse. George Hyatt did his time, walked his time down, came home, he would have been old, but hell, he would have been with his wife. Crazy, but true, real life story. This will conclude the story of George and Jennifer Hyatt. Always remember guys, click that subscribe button, hit that like button. This is The Big Escape. Until next time, thanks.